A lot of golfers ask me this really important question about the three wood. When it's on a tee, do I still hit down on the ball or do I hit up on the ball? When it's on the ground, do I try and sweep it or do I play it like a hybrid or an iron and try and hit down on the ball? And they're really, really valid questions because I often actually say, this is probably one of the hardest shots in golf. It's the longest club, it's the lowest loft outside of the driver and hitting it off the ground requires pure, 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 pure ball striking. It also requires speed to help you get the ball elevated. I often put a lot of golfers towards maybe a five wood or a four wood. That little bit of extra loft gives them the launch, gives them a bit more height, and it could just carry that little, well, it will just carry that little bit further. So if you're going over fairway bunkers or greenside bunkers, it's really important. If you're using a three wood and you've got a slower swing speed, but you're just using it from the par fives and you're kind of threading it down the middle, that's fine because it will run forever. So the question is, do we hit down? Do we hit up? Do we sweep? Guys, before we really get stuck into this video, if you are new to the channel, just scroll down a little bit, smash the like, because I know you're gonna like it, and also please hit that subscribe button. Let's keep chipping away. Let's get up to 100,000 as quick as possible. It does make a huge difference to the channel. It means I can bring you more of what I'm about to give you now, because this is gold. All right, so we've got two gold balls here. Got one on the deck, one teed up. Right, straight away, the one on the deck, I'm not gonna try and hit up on the ball. I've got no space. So that's one that's eliminated. The one on the tee, I'm not gonna try and hit down because often when the ball on the tee and a wood hitting down presents the crown of the club head, which will potentially, more often than not, sky it. So when the ball's on the ground, I'm not gonna hit up. When the ball's on the tee, I'm not gonna hit down, okay? So when the ball is on the ground, I want to get the feeling that I'm kind of brushing the top layer of the surface. So my low point of my golf swing, remember the golf swing, the golf swing's on a circle. So as that circle comes back down to the bottom, it comes down to the ground, the lowest point of that circle needs to be where the golf ball is. I don't want the lowest point of the circle behind the golf ball, because that would catch it fat. I don't want the lowest point of the circle in front of the golf ball, because I could probably top it, especially when the ball is on the ground. Hence why I think this is one of the most difficult shots in golf. I don't mind seeing a golfer just hit down on this a little bit. So the angle of attack would be down and the bottom, the low point or the bottom of the circle would be a millimeter or five, in front of the golf ball. It would be an absolute fraction in front of the golf ball. So you see like the likes of kind of Sergio Garcia who hit down on the golf ball. Depends on your swing path as well. If you're an out to win swinger, if you've got golf or not, then what happens is you're generally coming into the ball a little bit steeper. So you will probably hit down on the golf ball a little bit more, maybe even create a little divot like that. If you're an into out swing pather, then you're more likely to actually sweep the ball. With those two types of golf swing, you've got to make sure you get your ball position correct. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So I've got the ball on the ground. We're going to assume that I've got an out to in swing path. So I'm going to have the ball position where I'd have my driver. Because if I had it too far back, so if I had it more towards the center or maybe where I would have a conventional hybrid, if I swing out to win and the club's still on its way down, the low point's going to be after the golf ball, so I'm likely to top it. So before I answer the, well, help me answer the question, I need you to understand what your low point is or where, where, what your golf swing is and where your low point is. So for me, I swing it from the inside. I get to the top, I drop it inside. I won't take a divot with the club, so I'll brush the surface. So what I try and do is I put the golf ball just a fraction back of where I would have it if I had it on a tee. So if I have it on the tee, we're gonna to come to that in a second. I'll put it further forward. So this one here, I've got it just slightly back of where I would normally have it, forward of center, back of like your driver position. But because I've got it further back, I'm hitting the golf the ball earlier on the arc. So if again, if we come back to that circular motion, this golf club works on a circle. It works around the circle's arc. Now, at different points of this circle, that golf club is not always pointing at the target. Sometimes if you've got, the, if you've got it like this, that's all, if more vertical, that's always pointing at the target. But if I've got it on an angle, if I swing it further back, obviously at this point now, it's pointing to the right of target. So if I, hit, if I bring the ball position 
further back in my stance, that means that the club comes into the ball, it's never quite square enough to hit the, to hit the ball down your target line. So what I would often do is just open my stance up, or I'd aim a little bit more to the left. So I'd aim a tiny, tiny, tiny bit left. Ball's further back in my stance, just so I can, because I sweep it and I've got a night, so it'll give me the, the correct angle of attack. Oh, I've got plenty of speed in my swing, which is nice. I'm, I'm fortunate, I'm happy with that. So I know that I'm going to be able to get the ball airborne. If I don't have the speed in my swing, I don't create the velocity of, in the pat and the power, so I don't create enough backspin to get the ball airborne. So that's something you've got to really, really be in control of. So the importance of this video is really for you to try and almost be a little bit more self-aware and understand what swing path you have what that swing path generally contributes to, whether it's a downward angle of attack or a sweeping motion or an upwards motion, adjust your ball position to suit it. Like I said, if you're an out to winner, you put the ball further forward in your stance. If you're an in to outer, you put it a bit more just forward of center. If you're putting it more forward of center, you're hitting it earlier. It's called the D plane, by the way. You're hitting it earlier on the swing arc, which means the club face is more than likely pointing to the right hand side which means you might just get that little squirty one to the right so just allow for that with your with your with your angle now coming into the golf ball with a teed up shot i personally hit this up so i play this as if it's my driver i put it not quite as far forward as the driver a bit further back but i don't often tend to feel like i'm still trying to launch it upwards so i feel like my low point would be more here working then up and up kind of up on the ball so with the driver i swing it maybe four degrees on the up with this i'm looking at one so it's kind of like a i'm brushing it off the surface slash hitting it on the up if you hit it down and i see a lot of golfers moving this way we get the crown of the head hitting the top of the golf ball it does two things it breaks your heart absolutely tears it open when it scuffs the top of your head but it also only sends it about 50 yards down the fairway and that ain't good it's probably not even the fairway at that point it's probably still the rough because you're short the fairway so what i would try and say at setup here i would have golf ball golf club my head behind the edge of the golf club so i'm slightly behind the ball my spine angle is also slightly behind the golf ball i'm still going to be aggressive with my lower body but I'm going to make sure that my upper body stays behind the ball. I'm going to allow my lower body to still get forward in front of the golf ball, but I'm going to keep my head and my upper body behind the golf ball. So that's what creates that little bit of spine tilt that helps hit the ball on the up or gives it that little bit more of a sweeping motion. So obviously I don't want to hit it too high. And if I put the ball position even further forward, I do two things. If I caught it really nicely on the up, I'd hit it miles too high. Or if I hit it too far on the up I'd possibly even top it because the club's worked its way too high at that point so what I'm trying to do here clubbing behind the ball set up ball position not quite driver place head behind the club head and we've got to make sure you get that nice big coil at the top of the backswing and then as your lower body drives I often feel like the right knee or the trail knee drives into the lead knee when it does that, it allows my upper body to kind of work the club back down here. If my trail knee goes to the golf ball, you'll often find that the golf club also goes towards the golf ball. And you see this a lot with a lot of amateur golfers and that transition, trying to create power there. That triggers forward, that then follows forward. That then often encourages the club to be higher at this point and hits down on the golf ball, creates loads of backspin, so probably loses your distance, unless, or if you sky it, then you might even have to lose your three wood because you've got a big roofy mark on the top. So the feeling at the top of the backswing, once you've got a nice setup, right trail knee into lead knee, right trail shoulder down, all these rights, eh? So trail knee into lead knee, trail shoulder down, turn, keep the head just behind the golf ball. And let's see if it works. Oh, of course it works. It's an absolute perler of a shot. Little fade. Oh, yeah. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like it, subscribe. Loads of content to come. 
I'm out on the golf course right now filming a breaking par episode. Let me tell you, as you can tell from my demeanor, it's going fantastic. <laughs>